Hello there, it's Mark here. Um, I just wanted to do a little quick video about something that I was working on uh, last week and uh, would really highlight the, the uses of WordPress's actions and filters. And I like to see a lot of developers who um, kind of know about actions and filters, but they're not really confident with them. Uh, and this sort of example that I came up with was a really good example of how you can use actions and filters to, to accomplish some tasks without having to repeat code and make new code up for things. So let's have a look at what we were doing. So I've got a standard install of WordPress here and I've got the 2016 theme, I think it is. And the, the, the task that we were completing was a custom taxonomy for some posts uh, and the taxonomy was called topic. So it was allow and that allowed posts to be categorized into different topics. And you can see here, we've got a tag cloud that was on in a widget on in a sidebar. And we were showing the number of each post uh, the number of posts in each topic next to the, the 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 actual topic so you can see that a sample topic has three posts assigned some other topic has one and topic one has two posts assigned and this is just using the standard wordpress widget uh, so if we go into the appearance and widget section you can see here i've got a tag cloud and i've created a title and i've told it the taxonomy to use which is our custom one and i've said that show me the tag counts now the issue we had here was that we wanted these to be in order of the um, most popular topic first um, going down to the least popular topic and as you can see this is not the case because it's got three two three one two and we want this to be three two and then one and the widget itself doesn't have any options for anything other than to say show the tag counts and tell me which taxonomy that you want to use so uh, originally thinking, well, I'm going to have to create a custom uh, function for this, or I'm going to have to write my own widget that does something. Well, no, you don't have to do that due to the um, availability of WordPress's actions and filters. So I just wanted to go through how I sort of went about this particular task um, to achieving the success of it. So um, we're going to use this in a minute. So I've got a, I've got a file here in my Mew plugins folder called Snippets. Um, this is just where I'm going to shove this code to make it work, and I'll explain what this is going to do in a second. But the first thing we want to have a look at is what actually does get outputted for the actual widget, the, the Tag Cloud widget. So if we go into the WP Includes folder and we're going to the Widgets folder, we can see in here somewhere there it is Tag Cloud. This is the actual widget. This is the code that runs that widget that we've been using. If you're not familiar with the widget class, this is just a class that extends the normal widget class. It contains a few different methods in it. And one of the methods is the widget method, which is actually where the front end output is, is defined. So the first thing I start to look for in here are there any filters and actions that I can use to modify this widget without having to write it again. So as you can see here on line 69, um, the widget itself calls a function called WP underscore tag underscore cloud. And it passes some arguments to that function. You can see it sets the taxonomy, whether to echo this or whether to show the count. Um, but those arguments are run through this filter. So you can see we've got a widget tag cloud args filter. So basically what happens is WordPress makes those arguments available to us as developers and says, hey, here you go. Do you want to change them? You can do. If you do want to change them, then go ahead and do it, but pass them back to me when you're finished. So what we can do is we can create a function that would run on this filter to change these arguments. And we could change the order parameters to make them order by the count and order by the de, um, uh, descending. So it would be the highest to the lowest. So in my snippets folder here, uh, file, I've created a function, hd change tag cloud widget args. And you can see I've got two uh, parameters being passed into this function. We've got args and we've got instance. How do I know that I've got two parameters passed into this function? Well, if I go and look at the actual filter here, you can see I've got one argument, which is this array, which I've just highlighted, and I've got another argument, which is this instance. So you can see that those are the two arguments. Then I'll just uh, uncomment my filter so it actually starts running. So add filter to the tag cloud args, and this is the name of my function that's going to be added, and we're going to give it a priority of 10, and we've got a two at the end here because we've got these two arguments being passed in. Now, when you're running or working with filters, as I said, you must pass back the data that you've altered. So the first thing I tend to do is when I'm working with a filtered function is to pass back those uh, arguments that we're going to alter. So return the modified args. This is so you don't forget when you've done all your fancy work with your filter. Because if we don't pass those back, it'll break. 
then the next thing we want to do is we only want to do this for our taxonomy. So if someone uses a normal tags widget and has the standard tags taxonomy, we don't want to interfere with that. We just want to do uh, just do this for the topics taxonomy. So what I tend to do is I tend to have a look in what's in here. So what can I actually use in here to actually help me with my code? So the way to do that is just to dump this out to the screen. So if I just do var dump, I'm using a little function WP var dump because it allows me, it's just one I used, I created it and it allows me to create a label uh, for it and it makes it look a bit prettier on the screen. So if we save that and then we flip back to our browser and refresh. So you can see we get a little array here and oh look, we've got the taxonomy in there. So we could use that in a conditional statement to say, look, if the taxonomy is the topic taxonomy, then let's go ahead and make our changes. If the taxonomy is not our topics taxonomy, then we'll just do nothing. We'll just pass back the arguments as they originally were without interfering with them. So let's go ahead and do that. And I've, <clears throat> excuse me. I've just created this code here, so I'll just copy and paste it across. <clears throat> so we'll remove our, our, our dumped code. So you can see what this is doing. It's basically a conditional statement. If this t is, ta is this taxonomy, if I can talk, uh, is the topic taxonomy. So if HD topic, which is the name of our taxonomy, is equal to the taxonomy part of the array, args array, and if it is, let's add some parameters to that uh, tag cloud function. We're going to add the order by parameter, and we're going to tell it to order by count. The default is name, which is what it was using. And we're going to add the um, order parameter, and we're going to tell it to use descending, because I believe the default is ascending. Uh, so by default, or without doing any modifications, it was doing, let's just, just check on that, it was doing by name and ascending, yes, we've got an A, S, and T, which is correct. So let's just save that piece of code, um, like so, and then run this again in the browser. And we can see, there we go, we've success, we've got the functionality that we want. So we've got three, two, and then one. So the most popular tag is first, or topic then the next least popular, and then the least popular at all. So that's changed the functionality for this particular widget. Now just to prove to you that a normal standard post tag widget will work, I'm going to add another tag cloud widget, and I'm going to call it normal post tags. We're going to set it to show the tags, and we're going to set it to show the tag counts, just as normal. So this should work in the normal way. It shouldn't be ordered by descending by count. So let's refresh the page. And we can see, yep, that's worked. So we've got a, a, a tag here which has got one post. And then further down, we've got a tag which has got nine. So they're just kind of in the random order, aren't they? So we've got alphabetical by name uh, going in ascending order. So that's worked. So only my functionality changes are happening with the topics when the, when the, um, when the taxonomy is chosen as a topic. So it's a great way of using actions and filters, in this case filters, to modify the core behavior of WordPress without having to build your own functionality and you know, re redo a widget in this case, or a custom short code, or something else like that. So, just a quick tip there that I was working on last week that I hope you find useful.